Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. I want to apologize, I know we are a bit behind. There's been a lot of changes, a lot of new things that are happening, as well as, uh, as you guys know, being extremely busy. I will be doing a video um, speaking a little bit more about what's going on and um, the changes that I'm going to be working on and that I'm also going to be providing uh, for you guys uh, in regards to um, the series we had talked about in regards to tarot interpretations. So anyways, without further ado, let's get into your reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Congratulations for all of you guys. Happy birthdays. I wish you guys brightest of blessings uh, for all you Leos out there. All right, let's get into your reading, Leo. Now, when shuffling the deck, the first card that came out here is the Ace of Pentacles. So there's definitely new beginnings. Um, for some of you guys, this is a new, uh, a new journey, a new endeavor that may be coming up or that you may be working towards some type of achievement, um, abundance, and uh, fertility is very prominent for you guys at this present time. Um, now, let's get into it. The Ten of Wands uh, is representing at the present time what you need to overcome, the obstacle. Um, so I do see you guys carrying a lot of burdens, carrying a lot of responsibilities. Um, for some of you guys, I'm seeing wanting to get to um, some type of achievement, some type of uh, place in your life where you feel that the effort, the work, the determination that you have been putting towards um, is finally either manifesting or unfolding for you. I do see, um, like I said, a lot of burdens here for some of you guys even carrying responsibilities or burdens for other people. This could be your children. This could be those around you. Um, kind of picking up the pieces or picking up the slack from other people. Um, this is and it may be feeling a bit overwhelming or a bit frustrating, but the positive in it is that the Ten of Wands always indicates the conclusion of that. So you're quickly putting your burdens down or quickly will be walking towards more stable ground. Like I said, with the Ace of Pentacles, there's definitely a new beginning, a new change in the horizon for you. Now, your next card here is the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords wanting to go towards, like I said, calmer waters more stability. For some of you guys, this is you seeking um, emotional stability. Now, this could be whether you're in a relationship or whether you're single. Um, this is really, I see you guys like really focusing on walking with purpose. So for some of you, it could indicate, um, like I said, the desire, the want to uh, find emotional fulfillment. Um, this is what we call dating with purpose. This is knowing exactly what it is that you're looking for um, in regards to your career and your finances. This can also indicate um, having a clear, concise picture of what it is that you're trying to achieve. This is, you know, prioritizing. This is getting um, your goals, uh, like I said, prioritizing your goals, knowing what it is that needs to be done now um, versus something that you can work on two, three months from now. Uh, so I do see a lot of like organizing, a lot of figuring out where you're at at this point in your life and what you want um, and starting this new chapter in your life, uh, this new beginning uh, for a lot of you guys. Um, it's, it's almost like I'm literally seeing like the flip of a page going into the next chapter of your life. Um, beautiful energy here. Now, your next card is the Eight of Cups. So, yeah, you definitely walked away from something, Leo. Um, this could be, like I said, walking away from burdens, from responsibilities, from picking up other people's slack. Um, this can also even indicate if you were in a relationship or currently are in a relationship and you feel like you're the one that's often carrying um, the relationship or working on the relationship, there is a culmination of this where you're understanding or having a deeper understanding um, what it is that you deserve and what it is that you should be putting and what your partner should be putting as well. So I do see you guys walking towards or walking away towards something that is no longer bringing peace to you. Uh, 
again, the, the, the desire or the want to often go above and beyond for other people. It's like you're choosing yourself at this point. You're choosing your happiness. You're choosing your peace. So you're definitely walking away from anything that disturbs your peace, uh, which is a very, very beautiful energy here. Now, your next card is the High Priestess, and this is crowning your energy, Leo. So very intuitive, paying very atten close attention, being very attentive um, towards your dreams, um, towards uh, communication in the spirit realm. So you may actually be um, very, like your psyche may be very activated right now. Uh, this could be lucid dreams. This could be having extremely vivid dreams. Um, this can also be uh, speaking about uh, connecting with, uh, you know, family member, friends or loved ones that have uh, passed into the astral realm as I do see them reaching out or communicating or even giving you messages um, from the other side. So it could be connected to, again, like I said, your dream state. Um, so pay attention to that. Also pay attention to your intuition for the next coming, uh, I want to say two, three weeks. Um, I feel that you're, they keep telling me your psyche is going to be very activated. So again, try the best you can if you feel like uh, you're going on this energy or this, you know, you've been feeling yourself to be um, a bit wonky with your energy. Uh, could be feeling extremely tired and then the next day you're extremely energized. Uh, it could be that you're getting uh, very prone to getting sick right now. Um allergies anything like that and i don't feel that it's your energy i feel that this is because you're picking up on other people's energies or people around you i would highly encourage you to either drink lavender lavender tea or to have lavender in the entrance of your home or to have lavender by your windowsill um they are showing me lavender here and they're showing me that it's uh, th that this is going to help you to protect not only your energy um but to also protect your physical body, okay? All right, your next card here is your card, Leo. This is the strength card. This is being confident. This is knowing, trusting the universe. This is putting your energy and focus um, towards things that you're very passionate about. Um, this can also indicate feeling yourself, uh, being uh, very passionate, very intense. I feel that for some of you guys, uh, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. Um, they're speaking about the passions being reignited or the spark um, or the uh, getting your spark um, back. It's almost a feeling like you go from, you know, being um, being a little bit like more to yourself to wanting to be out there, wanting to be around um, people, friends, loved ones, uh, wanting to be a little bit more social. And this is just reinvigorating your energy. Uh, so I would definitely highly encourage you. For some of you Leos, um, you will be receiving roses or something that is connected to roses, um, specifically red roses, as I do see here that it's standing out um, very much. So they're speaking about just understand and know that when receiving roses it's like the beginning cycle of passion and love that is being re-energized um kind of like a reset um and just expect changes because they are telling me that once that happens it's almost like a new beginning is happening and it's unfolding before you you also have here the Page of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Death card. So definitely major changes are happening for you, Leo, uh, especially when we're talking about love and romance. I do see, uh, like I said, a new cycle. There's almost like uh, this energy that is going to be vibrating off of you. They are telling you, get out of your comfort zone, uh, Leo. It's going to be very important to really like um, be a little bit more adventurous, be a little bit more spontaneous in your life. Um, the energy that I see around you is the Ten of Pentacles. So a lot of opportunities for growth and advancement in regards to your career and finances. Um, but stability more than anything is definitely coming through for you. Now, you also do have here the Nine of Swords. And this is um, getting a lot of anxiousness or a lot of worry in regards to your future. What they're telling you is now is not the time to worry. Now is not the time um, 
if you feel right now that you're at a place in your life where there was expectations or there was a need or a desire in your head of where you should be right now and you're not there um don't let this get the best of you leo don't let it you know play with your emotions um a lot of the times it's, and this is what happens all the more than often um often than not is we plan but a lot of the times the plans fall through it doesn't necessarily so life is not you know you can't really plan life um if you feel like there is anxiousness stress worry um for some of you guys whether it's like i'm not married um i don't have children i want to have children i'm not getting any younger or for others of you, um, you know, I thought I would be at a very high point in my career at this point. Whatever the situation is, what they're telling you is there's no need to worry. There is an ending cycle and a new beginning that is unfolding for you. And with this new beginning, with the death card here, major transformation. Um, things are happening as they should at this present time. Just trust the process, Leo. I hope that this gives you guys insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.